Hi, Danielle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I How love you? your stage you're sitting on right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I know last time we spoke um, during Roadkill, you said I'd probably be talking to you again. Yep. Here we Did are. you think it'd be this soon? <laughs> no, no. I'm very happy though. But no, I didn't. I didn't think it'd be this soon. And there's more coming out too this year. There's like five more movies I have that are going to start surfacing. So be nice once a month doing press for a new movie isn't bad. Right. And what more can you ask for for 2024? I know, right? <laughs> um, so in this one, Roadkill, you were, we talked to you, you were barely in it. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, like I said before, we'll take you in small doses, however we can get Danielle. <laughs> and this one, you weren't in it at all. Visually, right. but we could definitely hear you. Yes. So can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about your character, Dorothy? That's why it says featuring Danielle Yes, Harris. exactly. They didn't try and mess with that. So. Yes, which I love. I'm always yes. get worried about that stuff. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't done anything in the sci-fi world. Yeah. Literally, like nothing. Uh, so this was, and voiceover work is, is the best job ever. Mm -hmm. So, and I'd worked with George on a movie prior. So I knew him. It was like, okay, for sure. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, AI is a really horrifying thing right now that we're, mm -hmm. we're possibly entering into a world of. So it just, even though we did this two years ago, um, and it was challenging too. I was talking to somebody prior talking about, uh, which I'd forgotten about till it was brought up, the fact that I, had limited time in between, you know, to work. So essentially what I mean is I would show up, you know, uh, the character starts to talk and, but the actors have on, that are on camera have already done their scene. Yeah. So I've got say, you know, 15 seconds to get the chunk of dialogue that's written on the page in there. So I would have to count how many seconds or look at the clock, how many seconds they're on screen for, and then look at the page and go, okay, I have to say this fast. Oh yeah. shit. I'm still going over. They're already reacting, but I'm saying the wrong thing that they're reacting to. So, so just that dance was really interesting. Um, I've never had to do anything like that before. This is a lot different than your, you know, your voiceover work with the, uh, with Rugrats. Yes. Yes. So it's a lot different. Oh yeah. I mean, I haven't done the Thornberries in, I mean, since I'm like 21. Yeah. It's been, it's been a, while. a long time. I love yeah. voiceover work. If I could just do voiceover work, be in my pajamas and for an hour and in, in a little booth by myself with my tea and acting a fool, sign me up. <laughs> so you're able to do this at home or did you have to actually go into it? I went, I was in LA. I was in LA, LA when we shot this. So I went into the studio. That's awesome. You know, I think I would need to go into the studio. It's like, yeah. you can't, it's like going on a date. Like, yeah, we could zoom date, but you kind of like, you need to be there and feel it. Yeah. It's not the same. It's not the same. Nope. Yeah. Um, and your voice was very menacing, but it was very provocative, provocative at the same time mm -hmm. during times. So I mean, I happened. heard her super sexy when I was yeah. reading the script um and playful and naughty mm -hmm. so uh, but I didn't know going into it if that was going to be the direction if she was going to be that how human I could make her uh with that you know needing to enunciate certain syllables or vowels or certain ways that things were said trying to figure out how a computer would say that word versus you know it's like when you're driving and your your navigation says a word and you're like how did you read that as that exactly yeah and you're like, it's not Seplavita, it's Sepulveda. Yeah. Like, who says Seplavita? <laughs> like, oh, well, she does. So I, you know, trying to figure out like what words would, could still be the same, but in a computer language was yeah. interesting. And I know like years ago, we watched like Terminator 2 back in 91. I was 11 years old. Never would have thought we'd be getting this close to where AI yep. is kind of taken over. And now we're kind of at a point where that movie is not too far fetched. Do you agree? No, a hundred percent. This is where, this is literally the things that I've seen in movies. Like you said, yeah. that I thought we, oh, I'll never see that in my lifetime. Like ever. That's like 2027, 20, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah. then you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm almost in 2027. Like, you know, it's, it's, it really is like, this is the time that I think we thought it would be because the year sounded so old when oh, we yeah. were in 1986. You're like, Wow, that's great. I think I just saw something about Back to the Future. Like it would be, it's like if Back to the Future were done now, we'd be going back to the to to number two or whatever. I don't know. It was some, yeah. some analogy that I was like, wait a minute. Oh my God. Oh yeah. If I was if we shot Back to the Future now, it'd be going back to when it was the 90s then. Yeah. And that's scary so because weird. they were going back to the 50s. So now yeah. it yeah. makes you feel old. Yeah, for sure. You're like, wow, it really was the 50s to the 80s. It was the 80s to the 2000s and you know, yeah. 23s. Scary. That is nuts. 
and um kind of to move away from so you said this is the first sci-fi which i just realized that when you said that because you've done everything comedy horror action suspense you know i've never sci-fi. even auditioned i think maybe yeah. once i've auditioned for a show on the sci-fi channel yeah. i mean I, I would do a sci a series on sci-fi channel in two seconds it'd be the coolest job ever i'm a big nerd but you know, I don't I just think people just see me as like slasher horror, you know, that that world, which is great because it's the yeah. neediest and the grittiest. Um, so, I I mean, I like I like living in that in that space, yeah. but it'd be it'd be cool to do something for some some more sci fi stuff. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, and you're you're so diverse. I mean, some of your best your best body of work, in my opinion, was that that last Boy Scout, Don't Want Baby There's <laughs> Dead, you know, Daylight, all that kind of all those films right in that time period was just they were so different, which was great. Yeah. I was just talking to Scout on our show today. Um, we recorded earlier today uh, about Tony Scott. And I was saying how he's not only my favorite director, but then I was talking about the directors choose to wear certain things. Like, cause Scout had said, she just went shopping and bought a bunch of hats. Cause she's going to be directing a movie. And I was like, Oh, the, uh, like you're directing, but you're shopping for the wardrobe for what the director is supposed to look like. That's yeah. So exactly. hilarious. Like you're such, <laughs> it's such an actor thing to do. Um, you're playing the role, right? And yeah. uh, we talked about Tony Scott and I was saying how he always wore the same thing on set every single day, the same exact outfit for months, every, like never changed. It'd be like, if I, if you came in that shirt every single day and I came in this yeah. with this hat and these pants and these shoes every single day for months, you'd be like, wow, that's fucking weird. Yeah. But yeah, but that was, you know, that was the eighties and the nineties. I look back at, you know, to him with Tom Cruise and like, he's, he's wearing the same freaking, you know, awful salmon colored hat with t-shirt and the and the you know dp vest and you know it's crazy yeah that's their thing no i i hear you um so for 2024 what do you have what do you have planned for your fans do you uh i mean talk scary is taking off um, talk scary to me is taking off we're gonna do i'm only doing six um conventions this year so i'm really sort of slowing down kind of in that down world a little, a little bit, bit. Yeah. Yeah. And ideally we're going to do a live of talk scary to me at each of these. So we'll be able to make it a bigger production than just going, you know, to meet and greet fans and and take pictures. Um, and then I'm actually my, I'm going to write, I'm writing a memoir. So I'm starting tomorrow. My writer's flying in from the East coast and going to be staying in a little cottage up here in the country where I live. And we're going to start, I'm going to start writing. I've been going through old photos and scripts and behind the scenes pictures. And I just found a script that Ellen Burstyn had, I did a series with Ellen Burstyn and Paul Servino and I, you know, what they wrote to me on the script and just to have that. Just so I'm just digging through stuff right now to get ready to, to start writing. So more things for talk scary to me with bloody disgusting. And then obviously writing and I've got a bunch of movies coming out. That's awesome. I was just going to ask you, I was going to suggest, I hopefully you write a book soon and looks like that's already, you know, in the works. That's so weird. It just makes me feel so old. Like, you know, I wanted to write 10 years ago, but I didn't have the ending of my story. Like I didn't yeah. have the, the the third act. And I feel like I finally have the third act. We well, definitely have a lot to share. I mean, I, I really enjoy the candidness you have on on your uh, podcast, you know. Thank you. I learned so much, you know, because, you know, years and years ago, one of the only thing about you was always in a teen magazine. You know, that was pretty much it. There was no internet, you know. Right. So it was a game changer. And right. all these you know, behind the scenes, you know, type things about your life is very, that's so true. I never thought about it that way because I know about everybody, but we didn't have that at the time when I wasn't sharing, chronicling my life during that yeah. time that it were, that my life was the coolest, you know, the nineties, my life was the coolest. So, yeah. and tw- and 2000. So to get to share that with you guys is, is cool. Cause then we can connect on that level. We don't mm-hmm. have to just connect on, you know, Halloween. Yeah. Exactly. And are you going to have any special guests that you can announce yet for your, um... we have a list of so many people, so many, but I want, we always like to do it together. So I feel like scout and I need to be together when we have our guests, not only that, but I'm afraid one of us is going to fuck up, finish (laughs) figuring out how to get the the other, the third party on zoom, because we've never done the three of us separately. So, yeah. and I don't want to mess with anyone's time if I don't actually know what I'm doing. So it's always better if she's here and we use my internet and my husband takes care of all of the, uh, you know, oh. the technological stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of that for sure. I was, yes. I just got this MacBook, and I'm like, I hope I can get on zoom without any issue today. So good. It's like it's working. You did it. Good. <laughs> um, and then my, I know my wife, I told her I was going to speak to you real quick today and she wanted to know. And I remember on Instagram, I think you showed your kids your, I think it might've been Halloween four. Yes. She was asking me like, 
um, what the reactions are? Do they even ask about it or how, how in depth do they know about your acting? Um, they're just understanding what an actor is. Like my uh -huh. older ones now going like, Oh, who is that? Oh, like we went and saw Wonka and I'm like, his name is yeah. Timothy Chalamet. And he's like, who's that? I'm like, he's Wonka. And he's like, well, who's Wonka? I was like, no, Timothy's the actor, but he's kind of understanding it like in sports. He's saying, yeah. he said something like, Oh, so, you know, whatever, whatever Williams or whatever. Uh, it, if you, if I got a Jersey, you know, they sign their name on me in cursive. Cause he's learning cursive but yeah. through me because they don't take it in school so he's like oh i saw this player you know cd lamb or whatever his name is did did his name in cursive on the jersey and i said he said it's a lot of money on online for me to buy that and he's six and i'm like well <laughs> you understand so now you know when mommy goes when people go to see mommy and they want her to write her name in cursive on something and they take it they bring me a movie because mommy's an actor it's the same way that a basketball player football player brings you their jersey because that's their thing that's mommy's thing so they kind of understand understand more of like that they know me as the as the how do I say it like um oh god what's the word uh I can't think of the word um but movie wise there's they're they're like they think I'm in everything they're like are you yeah. I'm like oh well, let's watch E.T. Well, are you in that no mom <laughs> no I'm not in that let's watch this movie are you in that back to the future are you in that so yeah you know it's um uh they they're they kind of understand but I don't know if they really get it yet. Yeah, not quite there yet. No, they're not there yet. They're kind of uninterested. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll get there someday. Someday. Yes. <laughs> when they're when their little friends start looking up mommy on the internet. It's yeah. the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and that again, that was a game changer. I mean, I mean, the internet. I, I wouldn't even know. I mean, I remember not having it. And then my daughter, she's 18 and now she's had it in her entire life. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's, doesn't that make you feel old? Yeah. No, it, it most definitely does. It's so fucking weird. It's weird. <laughs> Aging is weird. I just started feeling it this year at 46. I was like, this some this is this is something's going on here. I don't know what it is, but you know, you look at people and you're like, damn, I don't remember them looking like that. Just that like all of a sudden something happens where you just start becoming old. Yeah. It just changed. I think 40 was when I started kind of looking around differently and now I'm 43. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so scary. It is. You're like, I'm halfway to dead. Yes, exactly. If I'm lucky, you know, yes, if I'm lucky. Yeah. And hopefully we all are lucky. Yep. And, um, would you have another movie coming out anytime soon? Oh God, I, I do. Well, I mean, I'm really, you know. I'm excited for the stream. So mm -hmm. that one uh, is obviously going to be the, I think the biggest one out of the year. It's the guys that did yeah. Terrifier and all that stuff. So I think that they're, they're piggybacking Terrifier 3 uh, at following this one. So this will be out right before that one. So I'm, I'm hearing and hoping, um, but that's got everybody in it. So that's, that's probably the, the most anticipated. Um, and then, I mean, hopefully my book's done by October. That's the goal. Oh, Okay. So we'll, it's we're, really we're going to pitch and, and crank it out. Um, and then, yeah, there's a lot more, a lot more I have to share. So I'm excited to, to see what happens. Hopefully some directing stuff for you. Yeah, for sure. Scout and I are going to do movies together. Um, again, I don't know if I would, I'm not going to direct myself. Uh, but, uh, yes, we are going to do, we're going to do stuff and maybe I'm, I might direct one that I'm not in that much. And there's definitely yeah. directing stuff on the horizon. Co maybe co-direct. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I totally would co-direct with as long as neither one of us are in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, totally. That'd be interesting. I wonder if we yeah. would still be friends after that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll wrap it up. But thank you again. Thanks, so Ryan. Good talking, talking to you. To you. I'll talk to you in a few weeks, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. 